we are going to pull off the world's most difficult 3D scan. We're going to scan Borgel app with an iPhone. But how? It's all surrounded with water. chose Burj Al Arab because it is one of the most magnificent and iconic buildings in the world. All we need to do is record a video while going around it and then use a technology called 3D Gaussian splatting which takes videos and turns them into highly photorealistic 3D scenes. First, we need to assemble the right crew. Introducing Alex, a professional jet boarder who's going to scan while riding his jet. Mahyan, an adventure junkie who is known for his precision in driving vehicles. He is going to be riding our boat. And you guys already know these two goofbags. We are going to be at the back of the boat, scan. In this video, we are going to show you how we 3D scan Borj Al Arab, all the settings we used, our workflow, and we are also going to share with you how we brought our scan to Unreal Engine 5 and recreated the entire scene to use for a cinematic. So let's go! We started by meeting at Alex's place. We had some coffee to get zooted and discuss the game plan. In order to achieve the best quality scan, we need to orbit around our subject. So we meticulously planned the path that we needed to take around the board with the boats and the jet board. Alex would be on his jet board recording with an Insta360 X2 at 4K 50 frames per second. Me and Farhad will be using our iPhone 13 Pro recording at 4K 60 frames per second, attempting both a horizontal and vertical orientation. So this is where we're gonna say farewell. Me and Alex are gonna go with the car to the beach that is closer to Borch. Al Arab and Farad and Mahir are actually gonna get to the two boats and bring them to that beach. Where are we going now? We are going to Sunset Beach. To help Alex set up his jet board, while Farhad and Mahir will pick up the boats from Dubai Marina. Since the jet board can only carry one person, Farhad and Mahir are going to pick me up from here so that we can all go to the birch together. Farhad, the boats are not allowed on the beach! No! We didn't have any time to waste, so I got an Uber and went all the way to Dubai Marina to get on the boats with everybody else and then meet Alex in the middle of the sea in front of Burj Al Arab. I'm late. <laughs> Nikki is our savior today. Yeah, let's Thank go. We finally got on the boat and just when we thought everything was okay, we faced our second challenge. Earlier that day, we checked the sea conditions online and the promise was that the water will be calm. You okay, brother? Dude! I did one run, I tried four times. How are you feeling right now, Alex? Super tired! <laughs> yeah, the waves apparently were one of the most intense that Alex had surfed on. But luckily, since he's a pro, he managed to do a few orbits right before we reached. So to be safe, we grabbed the Insta360 from him and started doing our orbits on the boat. It was so difficult trying to hold on to dear life with one hand holding the ropes of the boat and the other holding the iPhone and the Insta360. Gosh! We spent nearly two hours in the water not knowing if any of the footages we're recording will yield a decent result. But as the wise man David Goggins says, STAY HARD! When we got back home, it was time to train the footages that we have recorded. We turned them into image sequences and trained them manually using GitHub codes and our own GPU. To be honest with you, when we saw the results, we were absolutely amazed. The iPhone shots turned out so good, specifically the horizontal shot. Think about it, the sea is in constant motion and it was making up half of our screen. The 360 results are also pretty okay, but they don't come even close to what our iPhone achieved. To be able to create a cinematic from our results, we need to bring the Gaussian splats into Unreal Engine 5. We're going to do that using an Unreal Engine Marketplace plugin that converts a .PLY export into Niagara particles. Now we can just show you a cool cinematic and end it right there, but let's dive a little deeper. Once you have your scene in Unreal, you can go ahead and crop the Gaussians to keep only your area of interest. And thus, we can extract the board and just like that, we have our subject in all its glory. Now we can go ahead and change the skylight, mess with the clouds, even add our own ocean to recreate the same exact scenery. How about some dynamic elements? Like a flying dragon? Or a floating astronaut? Why not? 
And ultimately, we can change multiple camera angles and render some beautiful shots. But let's not ignore the fact that this technology has its own limitations. For starters, cleaning up the floaters and cropping out your subject can be a long and tedious task. And with the current tools, it is almost impossible to end up with a clean result free of artifacts. Also, keep in mind that we only have the angles that were seen by our camera lens. So technically, we can't elevate the camera too high off the ground. What we hope will happen in the future is that AI will have a significant contribution to the reconstruction of angles and frames that are missing from the raw input provided. And that is it for our video today. We hope you guys enjoyed that challenge. Honestly, it was extremely difficult, but we pulled it off. So we have done the challenge in the desert. We've done it in the water. What's next? No, 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 no!